Hey everyone, it's Brittany and just got home from work. Vito's here, of course. So I just got these um, aprons from my parents' house. Pedo's trying to get them already. Got these aprons from my parents' house. My dad was cleaning out some cabinets and found these aprons that nobody's using. And I was like, I want those. Um, if you don't know already, I do baking videos. And I only have one apron, so I was like, I will take those. And I just wanted to show you, there's one that's like super vintage-y. And I'm curious how far back it dates because it's definitely very old. Um... So yeah, I'm just going to like try these. I have two aprons. I'm just going to try these on for you guys. Pedo's super excited. So I got this first one. It has hearts on it. Cute. Oh, it has an adjustable strap. That's always nice. Look at Pop. You like it? This looks brand new. Oh, this is super cute. And it has this like thing right here that you just take off and it's to wipe your hands or whatever you need to wipe down. It's Velcro's right on there. And then you can just throw it in the wash. That's so cool. Pito wants it so bad. You can't have it, honey. This is cute. I'm excited to do, I wish I had pockets, but I'm excited to do my baking videos in my new aprons. All right, let's try the next one. This is the vintage-y one. Look how old. There's no tag on it. It almost looks like someone handmade this. And how does this go? In the front? Oh, so you put it on like this. You put it on like this? I'm confused. Oh, wait. My arm is in the wrong hole. Okay, here we go. Does it fit? Does it go like this? The pocket, oh, you know what? This is really small. I don't know. There's a pocket here. How does this go on? I figured it out. There's like a head hole. Okay, so you just swoop that around. There we go. Wow, can you imagine back in the day? I wanna say this is probably like 50s or 40s in the 40s it's gotta be it has two pockets right here look how old this is let's see if i can get better light it's so old here's the pockets wow this is cool though i really like this this is really neat it goes all the way down This is really cool. I like this a lot. I love vintage stuff, and I'm pretty sure this is really old. So yeah, these are the aprons that I just got from my parents' house. This is cool. Hi, Pop. So yeah, I just wanted to show you those. I also got um, these little aprons. Um, this one, it's very little, and this like smock kind of material one um, my nieces used to wear those when they were little but now they are grown so I'm gonna use those for my kids in my classroom and uh, that'll be perfect for art and craft stuff all right you guys so I don't need to cook dinner tonight so I want to clean the top of my stove now I'm used to having electric stove and oven um, and this is gas stove and oven so I just looked up how to clean the gas stove and it said to use to clean it off with soap and water first and then to put on a thick paste of baking soda and water and let it sit for 20 minutes and then wipe it away and it should be clean. So we're going to test that right now. I'm going to show you my stove and how it's so bad right now. So it really needs to get done. So let's, I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, so here's my stove. I got a dirty dish. I'll just put that away. Okay, so I know it's a little dark, but if you can't tell, 
look at all that grease and grime so I my goal is to remove as much as possible and hopefully this trick will help so I'm going to rinse it off right now with soap and water and then I will make the paste and I'll show you guys that paste and how I put it on when I do that so let me go clean that first okay you guys so I just cleaned off the top with regular dish soap and water and this is how far it got um, cleaning wise clean wise so this one is really bad we're gonna have to put a lot of that paste on there so here's my paste um, I got it as thick as I could there's like some chunks in there with the baking soda that I had so I'm just going to smear this all over and let it set for 20 minutes and then I will let you guys know what happens all right here is the paste I'm just let it sit on there see what happens Okay guys, so that's um, as far as I got with the stove. I'd say for me it was kind of a fail because I didn't have like a scrub brush. I think if you had a scrub brush um, or a hard scrubber sponge it would be a lot better. But all I had was a sponge with like a light scrub side. It really wasn't that tough so oh well. At least I got some of it cleaned off and I'll just have to get a scrub brush to do the rest. But um, that's it for today's video. I know it's very boring, but work week, just go to work, come home, go to sleep. So, um, I'll try to figure out some more fun videos to do. I want to do a couple baking videos for Christmas time, some Christmas cookies, ideas that I have. So, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow.